Let's create this gradient wave text effect in Adobe Illustrator. Begin by writing the word swirl by using the type tool. Change the font to a font named Lenny Thai, which you can download from the Adobe Creative Cloud app. Select the word and press Command or Control plus Shift plus O to outline the word into shapes. Using the duplicate function, create two copies below. Select the words and resize them to fit the page. Let's select them once more and head to the object menu and select Make Compound Path. We can now go to the Effect panel and select the Wave Effect. Play with the units until you have something that looks like this. Now let's confirm the new shapes by going to the Object menu and selecting Expand Appearance. Alright, now let's make the text white and then head to the Object menu and select Offset Path. Play with the units until you get something similar to mine. Make this shape in the back black. You'll notice there are some holes and cracks in the shape. So to fill these in, we will go to the Pathfinder panel and first click on Merge and then click on the Unite feature. Let's begin applying the 3D effect. Select a black shape and duplicate it towards the left. Holding Shift on your keyboard, scale it downward just like this. Now we will blend these two shapes together in order to give the effect that we're looking for. Select them both and go to the Object menu once more and select Blend Options. There you can make the spacing in specified steps and I'll put a unit of 100. Go back to the Blend option and select Make in order to create this transition between the two shapes. Select the new shapes and click on Expand. and then unite all shapes together using the Pathfinder's Panels Unite feature. All right, so now let's add a cool gradient to the white text. Select the text and click on the Linear Gradient option. There, we will add our three colors starting with orange, pink, and then we'll put yellow right down the middle. If you'd like to get the DOM Design's official color palette and gradients, then check out my Etsy link in the description. And to finalize, I will add some small white strokes to the text. You can play with the width of the stroke by using the Width tool to increase the middle part. I'll speed this up until the end of the video. If you're enjoying this video, then please drop a like as it will greatly help the channel grow and reach more audiences. If you're new and interested in Adobe Illustrator tutorials and process videos, then subscribe and turn on those bell notices so you don't miss any of my uploads. And there you have it, how to create a wave 3D text effect in Adobe Illustrator. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and let me know what else you'd like to learn on my channel. Cheers everyone!